Tonight at 10 past 11, we catch up with what's been happening in Emmerdale. Meanwhile, we go behind the scenes with Les Dennis. At 7.30 in the morning, there are few places as hollow as a deserted television studio. Before today's out, though, this place will be filled with light and applause, while an ordinary family tries to walk away with a cheque for £5,000 and a new car. This is how one family realised their dream of appearing on Family Fortunes. This pub, just outside Cheltenham, is the home of the Murphy family. Today, six of them are heading for Nottingham, 65 miles away, on a journey that started four months ago when they first applied to appear on Family Fortunes. Hi, good everybody. All aboard the Nottingham bus. <laughs> Second question, name a famous London landmark. Jason. Brain of Britain, it isn't. Family Fortune simply puts the most unprofound questions to a panel of 150 people, and the contestants have to guess the probable answers. The Murphys have been practicing for weeks. Uh, uh, right, so Jason, you, the lime green family, you can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm in the wrong team then. <laughs> OK, now, no rude answers. Right. Right. Name something you do more of at night than in the daytime. <laughs> Right, the questions are devised by a team of um, about four people, including myself. Um, and then we poll them. I poll all of the questions because quite often you look at a question and you think, oh, there's nothing in that. And then you get a couple of fantastic answers, which suddenly, you know, the question comes alive. Uh, we, had, we had one question, which is what I always think is typical. Um, it was uh, name um, a family pet, three letters and the uh, husband said dog and the wife came on and said elk and the top answer was a cat of course <laughs> i mean that's difficult <laughs> On the show, the Murphys will have to identify themselves. Hello, I'm Nicola. I'm from Cheltenham and I'm the head of the family to for today. I've got my brothers and my stepmom and the team with me. Hi, my name's Wendy. I'm from Chigsbury, Haston Cross, Queen's Head. <laughs> I'll do it, sorry. Hi, I'm Pat Murphy. I am the landlady of the Queen's Head in Chigsbury. My relationship to this slot, I'm the Wiggy's stepmother. Hi, my name's Wendy, I'm from the Queen's Head Aston Cross, and I'm sister's mum. Sorry about that. Hello, my name's Dave, I'm married to Nicola, uh, we live in Cheltenham, and I'd like to say a big hello to my daughter Jade. Hi. Hi, I'm Jason, I'm from Martock in Somerset, and I'm Nicola's brother. Hi, my name's Liam, uh, I'm from Cheltenham, and I'm Nicola's brother. Hello, my name's Wendy, I'm from the Queen's Head Aston Cross, and I'm Nicola's sister. <laughs> Nicola's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Wendy is his nickname. He's really Matthew, and perhaps it's just as well that he's only the standby member of the Murphy team. We get something between six and 10,000 applicants a year. And when you think only 32 families turn out for the series, I mean, it's, it's quite a remarkable uh, feat to, to be selected. So, that, you know, we all say you're, you're winners, the fact you're here. All the contestants have been booked into a luxury hotel. They're collected from here for the last mile to the studio. It's not the first time they've met Denise Kelly, one of the researchers on Family Fortunes. Hello, have we got the Middleton family? With her colleague, Cathy Byron-Grange, she holds auditions all over the country. Are the trait is here? 
No? OK, then, do you want to come in? We'll start the audition. Denise is going to be the electronic scoreboard, <laughs> so she'll plug in. And the first question has got seven answers, one of which is silly and one of which is actually wrong. Les doesn't give you those clues on the show, but I'll give you that now. And the question is, we asked the people on our survey to name something you might see at the North Pole. Penguins. Penguins, that's uh, on the uh, survey. After every audition, Denise and Cathy take Polaroid pictures of all the families. But how are they chosen in the first place? Some people really make an effort and they get together for their photo and they sometimes hold up little signs that spell out family fortunes or they all stand in a line and do one of those. Um, and some people send us wedding groups with everybody tipexed out, mm. apart from a few tiny people who've got a circle round their heads. So we tend not to see them, we'll see the ones that have made an effort. <laughs> the Murphys and the other chosen ones are almost at the studio. Nicola, are you the sensible Nicola, in this yeah. All right, well, you look after the meal vouchers yeah, for tonight. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay, and I've also got some badges for you. If you put your badges on now, on the left-hand side, high up, like this one, then you'll all get to know what each other's names are. I might sit on your in a minute. <laughs> but not to have a rest. They're joined at once by the show's two scriptwriters. They've already spent the morning studying questionnaires sent in earlier by the Murphys. The next half hour will be spent honing the family's anecdotes so that they'll sound spontaneous on the show. Oh, it's many thanks. We know all your secrets now. I mean, we've had your phone tapped and everything, but um, Nicholas also told us everything about you. I like the romantic story of how you met. How did you meet? Oh, well, I was uh, drinking in my usual water in Hull, and uh, I fancied one of the barmaids. And uh, just chatting away to Nicola, I'd never, never met her before. Uh, stood at the bar waiting for a drink. Nick said to me, aren't you going to buy me a drink for my birthday, then? And I said, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> I said, I'll buy you a drink, but I don't fancy you, I fancy that barmaid. Go and ask her if she'll come to the club with me tonight. And that was it, and we hit it off. For 11 years, Les Dennis has been the star of Family Fortunes, and the Murphys are about to meet him. Roger first, and I had to follow in behind him. Did you see it? Yeah. Is he minder? Yeah, he's the top man. <laughs> oh, he's full of us. We've got a performer over here. You got another one? What is it? Oh, I've got loads of trip. You've got loads. What's yeah. that one? That's your uh, Carlton TV floating plastic couplet. That's crazy. Did you the secrets in the thumbnail? It's like that. David Copperfield's career is safe. <laughs> so, now, do you. Well, have a great day, enjoy it, and, you know, just, just, uh, it's, well, I mean, there's, there's five thousand pounds and a car to be won, but that's not what this show's about, this show's about fun. Yes, you know, fun. it yes. really is a lot of fun, and, uh, in America it's called Family Feud, but here we call it Family Fortunes, because the families get on, and that's what it's all about. Okay, have a good day, I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. came about when we were sitting at home one night and saw it advertised after the show and then we all went out and met up as a family and um, we were just having a laugh and a joke as you do and a few drinks and the suggestion was made uh, why don't we why don't we enter see if we can get on um, basically just for a joke um, and we decided we would sent off our forms and uh, it's all gone from there really they record two family fortunes in one day both are fully rehearsed after the floor manager has laid down the ground rules. Hi there, my name's Wolf Floor Manager on Family Fortunes with John. I'm going to take you through the show so you know where you've got to stay, what you've got to do, so people out there think, hey, they're brilliant. They're really good. <laughs> they know what they're doing. You can stand behind the desks however you like, okay? If you put your hands on the desk, 
with my tapping. When people put their hands on the desk, they tend to tap. It sounds like drumming in the background, like <laughs> Indian war card or whatever. When you stand behind your mics, if you imagine a centre line running through the middle of you, and that mic is the part of that centre line, okay? As long as you're behind that mic, we are able to hear you, okay? If you go up that way or that way, we won't be able to hear you, remember? And also, when you use the mic, there's no need to keep dipping and talking like that, okay? Just so you're barren at each other. <laughs> Just talk normally for you, me, and we will fade your mics up, okay? Now, who's ever going through to big money, they're all right. The ones that are the losing families, well, they haven't actually lost, they've just come second. What happens, Les will come across and say, well, bad luck, such and such. You've won such and such, such and such. Haven't they had a nice day, blah, blah, whatever. There'll be a round of applause. Uh, what you've got to do is smile and wave and then get off. As simple as that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need you to get off as quick as you can, OK? Okay, and our first family playing tonight are the Murphy family. Jason, tell me about yourself. Hi, um... You've forgotten who you uh, are, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> You've forgotten everything about yourself. I know, it's just that moment. I tell you, listen, I, I promise you that, you know, you feel like this now, guys. Mm. Everybody, you feel... It feels really nerve-wracking when you're in studio. And like I said in the room before, when it's an empty studio, it's, it's, it's really cold and it's not the same as it is tonight. When it's there tonight with the audience, you'll remember everything, so don't worry about it. Jason, tell me about yourself. Right, um, from on rehearsal, the Murphys won the first so half of the show feet. and went on to try for the £5,000 and the car. 38 of the we need 14. Finally, something you make a list of. You said Christmas presents, we'd already had the top answer, but this has to be worth 14 or more to win £5,000. You said Christmas presents are said, they said. To win the car, the team would have to have guessed all the top answers on the survey. The, the survey um, is done by approaching the previous contestants. So we have a list of 150 contestants of our own. Uh, and we update it every year with this year's contestants will be polled uh, next year. That way around we get a genuine poll. We get a, a very quick return on the poll and a very thorough one. The question here is we asked 100 people to name something you'd see on a building site. So that's a lockout where the two contestants are face to face and whoever presses the button first gets the answer. So let's assume somebody gives the top answer, which in this case is bricks. I select bricks with the, the cursor, press it, a blue line goes across. That's what happens. The signal is transmitted to the computer cabin who gives the answer up there and the winning ping. Now, if somebody gives a wrong answer, I then move the cursor to the extreme right or left of the screen, click it, up <coughs> and across on the wrong answer. All this is done through me via the computer cabin. That's how it works, all the way down the line. Right, in here. The contestants have been told to bring at least two outfits with them. Denise will decide which clothes will look best on the recording. Either that shirt. Right. No to the stripes, because that's right. going to be a problem. In fact, if you'd like to sizzle it in front of the camera now, we'll see. Oh, no stripes. There we go. No stripes. No stripes. <laughs> sizzle it, isn't it? That one's lovely. Yeah. Marvellous. Black shoes. Might need an iron, no? <laughs> Once a bit of an iron, yeah. Just a bit. Yeah. That's lovely. And your black shoes. Yeah. yeah fine. That's great. There's one hour to go before the recording. So how much does the money matter to the Murphys? Not much. I mean, it's nice to have, but um, if we're lucky enough to win the money, it'll obviously get split six ways. So it's just about enough to go off and have a, a nice two-week holiday, but nothing that's going to change your life. <laughs> if we won the car, we'd sell it and uh, split the money between us. So have a very nice holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Men don't like coming they here. They don't like much it because they're not used to it. They, I think it invades their masculinity, quite honestly. 
You know, they're not used to it. The ladies think it's going to be... They either think they know how to do it and tell us what to do. I think they're pleasantly do. surprised yes. that they yes. get us to do their makeup. Yes. Most people, yeah. when they come in here, say that it helps, don't they? They say that it relaxes them. And that's, that's the major part of the job, really. I think that's what it's all about. Mm. Family Fortunes is so popular that it may soon be launched in India and Asia. Two overseas researchers are here today to see how it's done. Go on very well, because the family dyes are very strong and yeah, it should go very well. How difficult will it be to find an equivalent of uh, Les Dennis in your country? Do you think? That's our biggest problem, finding a Chinese Les Dennis. Um, in fact, the only alternative is to teach him how to speak Chinese. <laughs> There's no history of stand-up comedians and most of these hosts are stand-up comedians, you know, like Bruce Forsyth, Bob Monkhouse. Um, and there's no history of that in, in either of our respective territories. So that's going to be the biggest challenge. Les Dennis is now so relaxed about the show, he leaves his makeup until the last minute. As you've probably seen today, we do two a day over a period of two weeks. So we've got like 16 shows in the period of, of 10 days, really. So it's back to back. So it's quite a hectic schedule for, for me and everybody else on the team. Um, but in, in a way, it's kind of like we kind of ride off the back of one day after the other, you know, and it really, we feel that that's the best way to do it. By now, the audience is arriving for tonight's Family Fortunes. I got involved with it after Dustin had died. Um, we, we were a partnership and suddenly my career, I didn't know what was going to happen with it. So suddenly I was offered this game show. And at the time, I, was, I thought, oh, I don't know whether I'm a game show host. It's 11 years now I've been doing it. It took me a bit of time to get used to it, but it's, uh, it's like a second nature to me now. I know the, know the, the full mechanics of the show. Yeah. Hello. Bobby Bragg's job, and he's very good at it, is to warm up the audience before Les appears. We look after you tonight. In fact, Dennis Liddington's our producer and top man, and, and he is one of the top television producers in the industry today, whose generosity knows no bounds. Wow. Oh. He's already said, because it's a new series and you're very important to us tonight, right? <laughs> if you're a good audience, he will buy you a drink after the show. <laughs> Um, in buying a round of drinks as big as this, right? It's a bit like Bernard Matthews saying to a turkey, trust me. I think it's got great fun element, some of the answers to the questions that we've had. You know, name a bird with a long neck and a guy just says Naomi Campbell. I mean, it's just, that's the thing that came off the top of his head. Answers like that are hysterically funny. We don't have to um, write anything for that. Um, there's the fun element, there's also that thing that we talked about before where you do want to know what the survey is and the survey will throw up surprising answers. This little boy goes up to his granddad, he said, Granddad, can you make a noise like a frog? He said, why? And the little boy said, because Mum said, when you croak, I can go to Disney man. <laughs> <laughs> so, who got the Murphys versus? Westwoods. The Westwoods. No, that's fine. Photograph, no, yeah, absolutely. So she's at the woman's side. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just trying on your trainers. Look, <laughs> 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 I'm nasty when I'm round, so I said, okay, look. I said, it's all very well, give him thousands of pounds worth of prizes and pay us away. You're right. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves, OK? Thank have you. good fun. <laughs> That's all it's about. There's money and prizes, but the main thing is to have a laugh. And you'll find it a lot better when you're out there with them, OK? OK. Thank you. All right? You all right? Yeah? You're not nervous now, are you, Pat? You're going to speak up for me, aren't you? On the night? Let me get out of there. Don't you feel it's a bit easier now that they're in? It is. It is. You feel relaxed. You'll be fine. Yeah, fine. Then you get to home, we're going to say, oh, bloody fantastic. And I'm delighted to say, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the main man, the star of our show. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome our very own Les Dennis! Yes, we are. 
Welcome to the show, to you in the studio audience, to you at home, and to that lady who came in late. <laughs> We've got two great families hoping to go all the way to big money, and if they can find the £5,000 and win the car, they'll be lucky. And I've got to start again, cos I just... that up. <laughs> what can I say? So I'm going to go back and start again. <laughs> Skip, nip, 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 one, number one, 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 one. <laughs> Just as in rehearsal, the Murphys won the first part of the show and went on to have a real try for the big money and the car. It was all down to Dave. Oh, 100 points, put your arm around me, it'll make it easier for you. Right, 100 points we need. An animal that begins with the letter H. You said. A hare, our survey said. <laughs> eight. We've got 108. We're going well. Something that comes in a barrel. You said. Cider. Our survey said. <laughs> 10. We need 82. We can see where the answers are flashing. One, two and four. So we need this third answer to flash to keep us on target for the car. Yeah. Something a gardener does. You said... ..mows the lawn. It has to flash for the car. Our survey said... Oh. 16! <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> but the top answer was dig and worth 34. So we can't get the car, but we can still get the £5,000. 66 points we need from our last two answers. Something that a decorator uses. You said... Roller, we'd already had the top answer, paintbrush. You said roller, our survey said... 15! <laughs> 51 we need from our last answer. It's a lot to ask. 149 we've got. Something with claws. You said... Cat. 51 or more. You said cat, our survey said... 40! <laughs> it was the top answer. So you got four top answers, but you just missed out on that and mows the lawn. So, we're going to double that. We add it to the £500 worth of jewellery, the high fine CD that you've already got, which gives you a Murphy family fortune of... £828. Hard luck. That was so close. So close. Whoa. <laughs> Never mind. We'll see you next week. Bye. So, how do you feel? Um, relieved. I think we all feel relieved. We've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Um, the lads are at the moment sort of conferring about what happened on the big money and I think they feel that they've sort of let us down in a way, yeah. but they haven't at all. No, you've enjoyed it. Really? That's right. They were really brave to volunteer to do it and they did us proud. Yeah. They did, did really well, so we had a thoroughly good day. Well, that gardening question <laughs> <laughs> For people that do the garden, but you've got two men there never that go the never garden. go in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Said there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. In the last 20 years, the programme has paid out about a million pounds in prizes. Thousands of families have risked making themselves look slightly silly just for a laugh. As a people, it seems, we don't take ourselves all that seriously.
there's a new series of Family Fortunes next Saturday at 8.15 and next Thursday we go behind the scenes of peak practice.